The, fo the following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the day like we usually do, uh, looking at the German DAX. As you can see, it had that three drive to a top pattern, as you can see in the yellow triangles. We backed off a little bit, very quiet, very normally. And of course, with the Fed chairman speaking, we've had a nice big run in a few things here uh, early this morning, very emotional, which is the kind we like to see. And the next one we want to take a look at here is the FTSE. Uh, oh, just a minute here. That must be um, that must be Mr. Powell's having trouble talking. So he's got a uh, oh boy, just <laughs> it's my grandson. I'm doing the radio show now. I'll get back to you later. <laughs> Who loves you? <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, we'll get. To <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, you'll see the FTSE completed the big A B C D on the four-hour chart. Started down a little bit. We'll wait and see how that uh, transpires tomorrow. But we do want to look at the uh, the German Bund here, folks. Let me let me turn off this telephone so nobody bothers me anymore. That's my. I don't think there's any problems over there, but you never know. Okay, let's move over here and take a look at the uh, German Bund because I uh, had a really nice level of ABCD pattern here, uh, completing at right when the bonds were right kissed uh, 153 and change in the bonds. That's when we were making this ABCD at the 61% retracement on the German Bund. And then Mr. Uh, what's his name, uh, Powell opened his mouth and bada bing, bada boom, it's rallied up to the uh, little above the 38% level. And that's all it's doing right now. So that's uh, pretty much, uh, you know, what we are watching. So let's keep an eye on um, Keep an eye on these bonds because they're going to be very, very interesting here. This is going to be the real test today, folks, because uh, if they don't fall from here, uh, then there's a real chance that these things could go a great deal higher. Let me just give you my opinion of this. Uh, I'm just going to show you the 10-year note right now. Remember, this is a very emotional move because we moved about three-quarters of a point in the 10-year, the which is quite a bit. You'll notice we did get up to the 382 level. I don't know where we're trading right now, but that came in at, at 127.15. Uh, uh, last I saw was 127.14, but uh, that is a 382 retracement. We did the same thing in the Treasury bonds. They got up to 155.08 uh, or something like that. So that's going to be very, very interesting. Gold had one heck of a nice rally, too up into this uh, 14, uh, 14 level. So it's going to be a really interesting rock and roll day. So that's a, that's a fun thing when we have these really jumping around things. I, I, I want to thank everybody for the comments that I got about uh, Norm's show yesterday about his Uncle Abe. Gee, it's, it's really exciting to, to see someone that did so much for, for uh, you know, aeronautics. I mean, my goodness, we probably wouldn't be on the moon if it wasn't for him. So... Uh, it was uh, not that we are in the moon, but uh, anyway, it was very interesting to listen to the history of it. And uh, my mom actually worked in that furniture store uh, that was owned by his family there uh, in Terre Haute when she was uh, uh, just a, a young girl. Okay, let's move on here to the uh, next one I wanted to talk about. Let's going to change the subject here a little bit, folks, because uh, – uh, Mr. Z is going to come on at the next segment, but he's got a really interesting trade set up, something that we don't really trade very often. <laughs> Let's put that as this will be the first time in 45 years. No, wait, more than that. Let's see, 72 and 7, 47, 57 years, one, seven, 47 years It's the last time I traded cotton. Let's get this up here and take a look at it, but I might be doing this trade. Let me show you why. Here's the here's December cotton. You can see this uh, pattern there where the bottom is in at 9.09 on Tuesday, Tuesday night. And uh, th this is Christmas cotton, December cotton. I think we're trading around 63.70 right now. So you're going to be able to be a cotton farmer for less than 500 bucks, folks. 
Uh, we, there's some other charts that here that we're going to share when Mr. Z comes on, you know, to take a look at it. But it's got a it's got a really interesting pattern here. Uh, just looking at it from a uh, a standpoint of a you know real simple. Uh, where, where is it, Larry? Hello. Here, no, that's not it. Shut the front door. Ah, here it is, right here. Got it right here. There it is. Okay, here it is. I want to get this up to you so you can take a quick look at it. It's all numbers, folks. That's all it is. Don't know nothing about the bow weevil. I don't know none of that stuff. Anyway, you'll notice here, this is a daily cotton. We dropped uh, quite a bit yesterday, two and a half cents. We stopped right at the 1.618 expansion at $63, dollars $63, uh, uh, 63 cents a pound. So um, that's going to be really interesting. And and when we look at the the really long-term picture uh, in cotton, on the really, really long-term picture, we'll get this up here so you folks can take a look at it to see where we are because we are at some really serious, uh, serious areas here that you'll be able to see. Now, remember, this, uh, this is uh, – this is the, the rollover cotton, so this comes into right around that 60. See, see it's saying a 64 there? It could easily be 63 because I marked it from the 2016, and Mr. Z went back a little bit farther. So we're right at that 78% level and right at that three-drive pattern and right at the 1.618. Don't know if it's going to work or not, folks, but it's spot on right what you want to be looking at. If you remember on Monday... We brought to your attention a trade that we were doing that did almost exactly the same thing. You're going to see the exact same pattern. I know it sounds like a broken record, but if you get the British pound up here right now, this British pound has made uh, almost uh, six, almost $600 in a uh, little more than that in just two days here. So, um, you know, you can see what your risk was there. You see, risk is so small. And that, that's what you're looking for, to try to keep the risk as uh, just as small as possible. So that's it. Someone's asked me why I don't trade cotton. Same reason for cocoa. And uh, I never did trade orange juice. But uh, it was 1973, and, um, and uh, I was in cotton. I think I had five contracts on. I'm going to post Bitcoin in just a second. I, was, I had about, uh, I think I had five contracts of cotton on, and it was limit up, and I was long. And I told the broker to sell it at the market, and he sold it at the market. And about 10 minutes later, the fill come back on the squawk box saying that I'd been filled limit down. And uh, and I, I was uh, very upset, and my broker at the time, Jack uh, Fletcher, uh, you know, he says, what should we do? And Roy Fassel yelled from his office. He said, take the trade. And I believed anything, uh, you know, Roy told me. And so I did. And cotton didn't trade for several days. But from limit up to limit down was over $10,000, you know, from where I thought I was going to get in and where I thought I was going to get out. So after that, I didn't trade cotton uh, or cocoa. Um, I did trade sugar once in a while, but not cotton or cocoa. But it's a lot different now, folks, because we have electronic trading, and it's just a totally different ball game. So when we get back from the break, which will be coming soon, we're going to talk to Mr. Z about that. Get his two cents worth, because his two cents is worth a lot more than two cents, as we uh, well know here. So we'll cover that cotton market. And I don't know if they have an ETF for cotton. They got an ETF for everything else. I guess they got one for cotton. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it. It's going to be a very low risk trade. 877 927 6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
the TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $197 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back online here at TFNN, and we've got Mr. Z from the Den. John, how are you doing this morning? Larry, I've got a uh, perhaps an early Christmas present for you here. I'm looking at just, it. Uh, I got my hand. Yeah, I got just, my hand on the mouse. <laughs> just, uh, just using your work, uh, Larry. Just for your, uh, I'll share this with your listening audience. Uh, something uh, I learned from you back. Let's see, Larry. I was introduced to you back in 2005 when you began working with Tommy O'Brien in TFNN, and then. Um, and then I recall taking a webinar of yours in, I think it was 2008 or so, where you went through, oh, the, the fundamentals that you have contained in the variety of books that you've authored over the years. But one thing I had never seen uh, used or taught was the utility of the Fibonacci 786 ratio on retracements. Uh, likewise, the Fibonacci 1272 expansion uh, multiple. Um, so uh, you introduced those, and I began using those. And over this, you know, 11 year time span, having learned that from you, I marvel, Larry, how often, if I look at enough different markets, I see market price go to those levels and turn. Um, and now, of course, a market could go to those levels and not stop, could continue to decline or extend or what have you. But what I have found as a trader over the years is to use uh, technical tools and your Fibonacci retracement expansion and pattern work is uh, you know a subset of uh, within a, a category of my tools, and 
do those, identify those price levels and those patterns, and then if price starts marching into those, then watch things like a hawk and be prepared to act to put on a position. So that's just the general uh, review of a concept. A specific application of that concept appeared uh, Monday and Tuesday, and I took action uh, last night, Tuesday, with a buy of these cotton futures, risking very little. Uh, but uh, out of the blue, selling occurred in December cotton futures Monday and Tuesday. Now, mind you, cotton has been in a bear market since a top up in the 90s uh, set back in 2018. So uh, the, the decline phase was, of course, no surprise to anybody. But for some reason, for reasons I just don't know, Sellers came out of the woodwork and buyers stepped aside Monday and Tuesday, and price fell down to a low of 63.10. Well, I went and I did the uh, uh, Tuesday morning, the long-term Fib retracement marks, and found voila uh, on the continuous, or excuse me, on the nearby futures contract for uh, New York Board of Trade cotton. 63.30 was the exact Fib 7.86. And the low uh, yesterday, uh, Tuesday, was 63.10. So, uh, so there's an application of price going to a calculated number, a number calculated given your tools. And that, in and of itself, always causes me to take action and look at things so I put on a trade. But I can see a fundamental reason why a bottom could be forming here. So uh, the combination thereof tells me to take a shot. But I just, uh, I just have to marvel, Larry, applying your tools in real time to market movements. If you, uh, if you look at enough different things, it, it just is, well, for me, and I've been at this a while, it just is a continual uh, amazement how market price can go to uh, some of the tools you use, stop and turn and reverse, go the other way. So uh, I know. Uh, since I uh, saw that, of course, I emailed that to you very early this morning, knowing you probably already saw the same damn thing, but uh, so there we are. And uh, so I just have to tell you, thanks for teaching me those tools back in 2008. <laughs> That's terrific. Well, John, there's two things that I'd like to add. First of all, uh, I wasn't aware of the cotton because I haven't traded in a long time, and I certainly like to see it. But when you refer to them as my tools, those tools actually were given me by um, Bryce Gilmore. I understood 1.27. I found that myself in 1987 when I was speaking in Switzerland. I got stopped out of three different things and right at the high tick. And when I went back to look and f figured out how much I was risking, it came out to 1.27. I had no idea that that was the square root of 1.618. It wasn't until I met Bryce Gilmore in the following year that he explained to me how 7.86 and 1.27 and 1.618 and 618, how they all fit together and how they bounce to the rhythm of the market. And as you mentioned, you see these numbers all the time. And so they don't work all the time, of course, but, you know, John, nothing else does either. So it can be very helpful, especially at uh, times like this when the whole world is bearish cotton. Might not work, but this is about as low as risk as you can get, you know, buying cotton down here in the area of 63 cents a pound. So I, I'm glad you brought this to our attention because uh, it shows two things. One is you don't have to worry about any fundamentals. You just look at the chart, and maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But this, this particular trade is no different than the British pound trade that we happen to be in right now and the, the Treasury bond trade that we happen to be in now. They're just patterns that sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You know, that, that's all you can say. So I think it's a, it's a good idea to look at. John, since I've got you on the line here, we're having a little bit of a pullback here in the Christmas corn. We're almost down to a 61% uh, retracement down at $4.30 a bushel in the corn. What's your feeling on corn down here? I'll share uh, three things with you. One, there's a USDA report that comes out Thursday. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, with corn right in the middle of a larger range. You know, the highs were 470 and I think 459, and the you know the very obvious low is down there at 420. We're right in the middle of that, and um, and we've got this report. So the the point number one is I frankly don't want anything to do with this when we're right in the middle of a range with. Mm-hmm. Uh, a report coming out where, you know, anything can happen. And you documented, Larry, uh, very well uh, on the show, goodness, I think it was Monday, uh, July 1st. That was following a Friday, June 28th, USDA acreage report. And uh, you documented how the Dees Corn Futures gyrated uh, like nobody's business. Uh, on that yes. Friday in reaction to the report. So point number one, we're middle of the range. I don't want anything to do with this because I have no idea how the market price will react. Yeah. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, uh, what I've done here is I have put the chart in for the E-mini S&P that we looked at uh, the other day, and I just wanted you to see that, that uh, we came down to that very important level of 29.64. Now, the $64 question is, what are we going to do after that? And as you can see here, uh, after we hit that level, we had a really nice uh, trading situation yesterday where we rallied up all the way up to the 61% retracement, 29.86. We come down to the 61% retracement, 29.72. And then today, bada bing, bada boom, we go up to the ABCD Gartley pattern up there at 29.96, 78%, 1.618 expansion. There's your ball game right there. You get above 30. Uh, the, the price of 30, you're going to be looking at 30.10 today, possibly. So it's going to be a really interesting day. Now, during the time yesterday, the market that was moving the fastest, the leader of the pack, was the NASDAQ. And I wanted to bring this to your attention because this is the toughest to trade, folks. It has the highest margin of any of the stock indices. But you'll notice here that we actually made a new high uh, by, a one, by one point from where we were on to the July 4th. We made the ABCD to the downside, uh, 77.45, and then we rallied 400 handles up to 78, well, 79, uh, 10 or 11, and uh, that's a, a new high uh, based on that, given a talk of Mr. Um, uh, Powell today. Look, it went, it rallied uh, just about 70 handles, folks. The NASDAQ has really strong periods where there's vacuums in there folks um, you know it's a twenty five dollars uh, a point and the, uh, the the thing is that it really uh, gosh it's no is it twenty it's twenty dollars a point isn't it yes yeah, twenty dollars a point and but the the margin on it is more than the uh, the s p the s p margin is around six thousand and the nasdaq is around seven thousand and that uh, gives some idea of the liquidity. Not only that, but it's the least liquid. Well, no, the Dow Jones is the least liquid. The first, the best one to trade is the S&P 500. Second is the Russell. Third is the NASDAQ. And fourth is the Dow Jones. And Dow Jones and is worth five bucks a point, as is the Russell. So those are just some of the things that you know you think about when you're learning to do commodities. Hold on, folks. The um, they're giving me a little uh, beeper here to tell me, oh, wheat's making a new low today. We've got a that report coming out on the uh, stuff with the. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, USDA will, will affect this a little bit, but we'll see what happens with a few of these other things. So give me one second here. The first hour of the trading is the busiest time of the day from here. Oh, we've got Beverly on the line, and I'm sure she wants to talk to us about her friend Ross Perot. Beverly, are you there? I sure am, Larry. And yeah, we I were find talking. it just too weird that yeah, you and I talked it, <laughs> on your show about Ross Perot, and three days yeah. later the guy dies. Yeah, we had we had a half a dozen people in the room talking about it yesterday, wondering where you were, and I said, well, she'll be here soon. So yeah, it was very, very, <laughs> very, very strange. That's in fact, that's the second time this happened here to me in the past several months. We were talking about somebody, and I turned around, and they were gone. So you just never know. He was a, certainly you know, what, a fine what, man. What, what I met him one time, 1965, but uh, I never did forget him. What most people don't know, I was his press secretary here in New Jersey, and we had masses of international press come to our office. And that was because the New York office was at the Capitol, Capitol in Albany, and so we were just, you know, over the, over the river from them. Our office was in Edison, Wisconsin. We were right on the train line. But we had the French, the Greece, uh, uh, not the Chinese, Australian, England, France, Germany. They all came to our office, you know, to, have, to get live interviews. And when we had the big rally at Flemington here, there must have been – a hundred different TV station uh, cameras up there because they were they were coming from all over the world, and what people have to understand is this was revolutionary in our country that we had a third party candidate that actually was ahead at one time. 
mm-hmm. and so they were interviewing me, and I, I actually had friends flying back from Australia, and they had the TV on in the airport, and there I was. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, the thing I remember the most about him was the fact when he was give, giving his speeches, he said, remember this giant sucking sound coming out of Mexico <laughs> taking all of our jobs. I mean, that was that was 25 years before it really started, you know, and he saw it happening. It, it was, it was really had, he was sort of clairvoyant. And he also said, NAFTA, do we have to? <laughs> and, yeah. you know, he was, he, he could see it coming. He lived in Texas. He knew how easy it was. As he said, there's no environmental rules down there. You don't have to pay overtime. They pay a dollar an hour. They don't have to worry about the environment. Environment. They have no pension system down there. So why wouldn't all these companies move down there with no tariffs? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the, hopefully. the same thing is going on with China. You know, they come in with our country with a tariff of about 2%, and they have tariffs as high as 100% on our merchandise over there. Well, wow. you know, Beverly, on my last trip to China, 2007, I was uh, a guest of the mayor of one of the cities, and he took me around to one of the big manufacturing places where they were manufacturing clothes. And there was a line around the building, people waiting to work. In other words, uh, you know, they, they work 16-hour shifts, and then they sleep in their little cots and worked again. But you talk about working conditions and stuff, boy, I'll tell you, it was uh, – it was really something to see how some of those people struggle over there, even though it's a, a booming, uh, booming economy. But uh, what we hear and what we see are a lot of times a lot different. That's for sure. Well, I remember the story about Foxcom over there. They had to put up suicide nets because people were jumping <laughs> off the sixth floor to kill themselves. Yeah, the I I'd heard that story so too. Bad. Yeah, lots of well, pressure. Well, that's all changing now. I, I've always said uh, parole was. Well, but, Trump was Perot. Um, he, you know, he, the only thing he's not really that concerned about is the national debt, and I can't figure that one out. But you know, he said jobs are moving overseas. We have to set up tariffs. We got to bring these jobs back so our people can have a middle class lifestyle. And mm-hmm. you know, uh, I think it's all starting to happen now because these jobs are coming back now. Well, we'll see. He might yep. have to do the last part of his administration in jail is what they're talking about, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I I actually I what you know, I don't want to get into politics because, you yep. know, that's I, I really but when I, when I listened to those people at the when the, when they had that debates and democratic debates, my God, I thought I was in either Russia or Venezuela. I mean, I was shocked. I mean, they want to give everything away. How are we going to pay for this? Well, we'll pay for it somehow. Who knows? Well, not hey, only talk. that, they want yeah. to give free health care to yeah. illegal aliens. Yeah. Well, I, I've just been beat by TFNN to shut my mouth about politics, so I better change <laughs> the subject. <laughs> hey, Beverly, thank you for calling in. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I was, was thinking was about you all day and, yesterday. And, and, uh, 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 he was just yeah. visiting one of your friends, yes, correct? Yeah, my, yeah, my friend is going to go to the services, so, uh, and it's I, not I'd easy like to for him to do that, but it'll be fine. I'd like to know when these services are here. I've never see, read, read anything or heard of anything when Perot's funeral is going to be. Uh, I, 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 I'm almost sure it's, he's heading to Texas, so that must be where it's going to be, so that's it, that's all I know. Yeah, he was in the Virgin Islands, I guess, when he passed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, well, well thanks anyway, a lot, Larry. Well, yeah, we lose him and uh, Lee Iacocca within three days. That's a pretty Isn't tough. Isn't that uh, something? You know, yeah. both giants in their industry. Yeah, yeah, Iacocca was really cool, too. Hey, thanks yep. for calling in, Beverly. Really appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in a tax opportunity zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, we are going to take a quick look at these Treasury notes again. Uh, folks, uh, this is really important, what's happening to Treasury notes today. And, the, the, hey, this is technical stuff, so you don't have to listen to it if you don't want to. But here's my two cents worth. This is the September Treasury notes. You can see the uh, butterfly pattern that we made up here on July 4th, 2814. We dropped a handle and a half down to 126. Uh, 28. We rallied about three quarters of a point today, uh, right up to this 382 retracement of that high. We're now starting to move lower already. The Treasury bonds have already given up 20 ticks uh, from the high. This is not good action. And if we start, if we happen to close lower today in notes and bonds, put a put a safety net below it, folks, because it could really go down quite a bit. We don't know if that's going to happen yet. But we'll wait and see. We have a lot of emotionalism in the first half hour here. People are listening to what our esteemed uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve is talking about, and they're jumping in and buying. And uh, usually that first half hour to hour, known as amateur hour, is very important. We hit that magical level of uh, 300 in the S&P, went slightly below it right now. Whether that, you know, just made a new high, I don't think it means anything because that's all emotional is what it is. And what, like Mr. Z, I watch for that expansion of the 1.27 numbers, and that's what I would be, that's what I would be looking at. So we'll have to wait and see. But the... Uh, that's it. Uh, hold on here. I don't know, Rubes. I don't know what that means, David. You're going to have to be a little bit, um, a little bit more specific to the old cowboy because I don't understand uh, that message. But uh, anyway, David White posts some really great quotes in here every day, folks. In the if you it, his quotes are worth the price of the den, but you get a giant bonus because of the uh, the uh, you get the uh, all the stuff that he. Post plus you get Mr. Z's post, you get Maria's quotes, and some of the others. Um, Ruby's been on coffee like a cheap suit. It's had an incredible move, and so there's really good things happening in the Tiger Den. Nice people doing a lot of hard work, 
and uh, showing a lot of different ways of doing things through uh, through David and Steve Rhodes and uh, Tommy O'Brien, and of course the master of them all, Basil Chapman. So let's uh, let's keep an eye on some of these things because we are at critical times. The old Chinese curse, may you live in interesting times, uh, is for sure. I wanted to spend just a second here uh, on the uh, long-term weekly chart here of the um, – Oh, I'll do the Bitcoin for you right now. I, I posted the chart. I didn't cover the Bitcoin. Let me get it up here right now. This is a blow up of what we're doing here over the last uh, the last month. Let's get it up here. We'll take a look at it. You'll see we had the uh, we're up at a Gartley right now. We're right up at around thirteen thousand. That's a folks. Look at this. This is a this is a textbook Gartley pattern. It's got everything in it you could possibly ask for. You've got the ABCD structure from July the second. Coming in at D, 13,000. You've got a 78% level from X to A. That comes in at 13,000. Uh, you've got a 1.618 expansion of B to C. That comes in at 13,000. So you've got three numbers there. You know, that's uh, you walk up to the cash register and say, I'll take some. And if it goes a little bit higher, give the money back and leave the store. You know, that's basically it. You don't have to risk very much there. It either works or it doesn't. You know, that's neither here nor there, so keep a close eye on it. We'll also be watching this cotton trade because I haven't traded it in a long time. But thanks to Ruby, I actually, and also Mr. Z. Mr. Z was on cop on cotton uh, coffee really closely, too, and that had a huge move, folks. It went from $0.88 cents to $1.11 in a matter of two and a half weeks. I got a little bit of it, which was my, the fact that I did it, I was, I was actually, my hand was shaking when my, when my hand reached the mouse and, and clicked on the icon for, for coffee, but uh, I was just excited to even make anything in it. But I didn't make anywhere near my two grand back that I lost in 1972, but still uh, had a little bit of fun. But we'll be watching some of these a little more because electronic trading is here to stay as long as these computers don't break down. We should be in pretty good stead. By the way, folks, tomorrow we have a special guest. We have Tim Bost will be on tomorrow. He's going to be giving us his ideas of commodities. And then we're going to have Norm Winsky on again on Friday because we've got this lunar eclipse and full moon coming in here on the 16th of um, of July, next Tuesday. So that'll be uh, very interesting. So we got two astrologers this week, uh, Tim Bost tomorrow. And, um, and also Tim Bost will be on the... Uh, the uh, Tom O'Brien show in the afternoon, too. I'm going to have him on double because a lot of the folks on Tom O'Brien don't get a flavor of astrology, and we ought to do that, you know, something to see whether that means anything. Give me one second. I need to check and see where prices are. Uh, we're still we're, – we're making new highs now, 1301 in the S&P. We should get to 1304, not any higher than that. That's my two cents worth based on my two cent calculator. Another one to pay close attention to, folks – uh, is the uh, the crude oil market uh, very very important here? We're looking at a major area in crude. Uh, we were above the 78% level now at 59.40, but we're over some key timing things to look at in crude oil. I don't believe we're going to take out 60.15 in the crude, but there's certainly a possibility of doing that. So uh, this, key, this key time of the day between 9.30 and 10 is, uh, is very, very important in all of these. That's, uh, I don't know if, whether it means amateur or hour or not, but you know, it seems to be a lot of times you'll see turns you know, at that time. So pay close attention to it. But we're moving pretty good now. We're, we're almost at that 13.04 that I was looking at. We're 13.0350, so let's see what happens here. The NASDAQ is making new highs, uh, so is the S&P. So uh, Mr. Uh, Powell has set the – he's put the game on, that's for sure. All right, let's uh, take a quick look about that British pound, folks. We had that really nice three drive to a bottom, bottom down there at 24.40. We're now trading at 25.10, 125.10. That's a – Whatever you do, don't let that trade go to a loss. You know, we were buying it down there at 124.45. So put your stop in. You've got a free trade. Let it rip and see what happens to it. That's what I would be watching uh, very, very closely here uh, with this. So that's that's what I'm looking at in the in the British pound. The euro's only moved uh, 60 pips off the bottom. So so far, all that is is a DCB, you know, the dead cat bounce, not nothing against the cats. But anyway, keep an eye on that, too. That's another one. If we get above 112.90 in the euro, then there's a, there's a possibility that it's got game. But until that happens, 
you know, we'll have to uh, have to wait and see. Regarding the gold, I still believe that we have a chance to get down to the uh, 1380 level. We're 30 bucks away. We were only 15 bucks away a little while ago. Then we had a $15 rally in gold, so it may be a little more difficult to get down to that level. But I'm still under the impression that we could get to 1380, and the gold will we'll find that out in the next day or so. Especially, he's going to be talking for two days, so I'm sure they'll. Uh, They'll be giving us some really great trading opportunities from the things that he says, whether they mean anything or not, or I don't really know, but no, nobody else does either. So we still believe that we got a shot at that that gold at 1380, and I really like that one. I'll post that chart there because it's a really a beauty, and uh, we'll take a quick look at it here. I think I still yeah. Here we go. Let's just get it going right now. We're trading at 1411 right now. But I thought we were going to be able to do it today because we got down to 1392 or 1389 last night, and uh, it uh, turned around. So, let's see. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we're back, and we're going to take a look at this natural gas. As you can see, the long-term chart 
is very similar to the cotton chart, making new lows with that three drive to a bottom pattern right at the 78% level. It started out quite nicely. We were looking at it at 225. We're now trading at 245. That's a $2,000 move. If we look at this uh, where we are right now, just give me a second and I will get it up here so that you folks can see it. This is the uh, uh, daily chart. We'll get it up here so you'll be able to see it. Uh, we made that low down there at 216. You see the pullback down to 225. That's where we thought would be the low risk buy. That's pretty much what Mr. Z is looking at in the Christmas cotton. And you'll notice that uh, we're completing that ABCD up here around the 249. Folks, if we get above 255, 258, this thing is going to take off. So we need to watch uh, natural gas because it has a potential for something really big coming off of that 786 level. And um, it might be something that would be a really long-term, really long-term trade. So pay attention. Got a lot of things happening today, folks. New highs in the stock market. Bond market's given up the ghost. It's already said I'm going lower. So we'll find out if that's going to continue down or not. But, you know, there's a lot of emotionalism this first hour or so. So don't be surprised if things change at the end of the day. But... You don't know. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. That's the $64 question. And we don't know the answer to that question. But the good part is nobody else does either. We've gone above my key price of 1304, excuse me, 3004 in the E-mini S&P. Uh, did we get much above it? Uh, just a couple points. So it's still relatively vital. But uh, watch, the, um, watch these markets because they could really accelerate, folks, and you don't want to stay in front of it if you're, if you're in the wrong side of these things. So that's the main thing I'm watching, folks, is these, these Treasury notes and Treasury bonds are flat out bearish. That, that's, that's all there is to it. They yelled and screamed at 382 that, please sell me, please sell me, please sell me. We're down a whole handle almost in bonds already. You know, that's, a, well, not quite, three-quarters of a point. So that's a big move. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.